welcome back everybody to so everybody's golf on playstation 4 carrying on our prep for the um eg cup number six we're going to play eagle city championship tees teeny cups i have played this before but i suspect the score i set was with the custom clubs we're going to play with standard clubs today just to get our eye in for the tournament um so we'll see how we get on now eagle city is in theory the easiest course but championship tees and teeny cups means there's a bit of challenge there but again it comes back to the fundamentals find the fairway find the green so 97 to go a bit of crosswind it's going to be an approach wedge the wind is the bit i always find it interesting trying to kind of judge Got our ultra backspin. Particularly on those super short irons. Depending on the length, it really affects. Wow. That might reject it. Yeah, I knew it was going to do that. So we hit the pin. But when you get the ultra spin, the pin shots go wrong. They need to patch this out. I've had a few do this. So it hits it. It now starts to home. Home's the first time. Home's the second time. And then just carries on. So effectively, that should have dropped. But you know, we can't get upset. So, got a bit of wind. 30, 12 yards to go. Time for a little bit of chip action. <laughs> Difficult to chip in with teeny cups. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. So we got a nine foot putt back for par. I mean, I'm not going to get upset. I could have got an eagle there. There's no point. He's just got to move on. Nice That'll do. That'll do. That'll show them. So, we have set a score on here before. Uh, 19 under. <laughs> yeah, that was custom clubs for sure. It's a two. Reachable with the custom clubs. Certainly not reachable with these clubs. Okay, let's get it up there. Up you go. On the chop. That's not so bad. So 45 to go, 46 to go. A little bit uphill. Ah, missing the impact does not help us, so it's swayed left a bit. It's not too bad though. Have we got a pup? Sloping uphill. Breaking to the left. There we go. We've got ourselves a birdie. Nice and easy. There we go. So three. Three. It's a par five. In other circumstances, eagles are on here, but um, not today, I think. Go go go! Nice. Oh, caught a bit of tree. We're all right, though. We're all right. Just going to shorten it a bit. So just under 200 left. Going to kick right a bit, and the wind's going to kick it right. Plenty of room, though. Should be able to land that up on the little bit of fringe, hopefully. Ooh, just on the rough in front. Yeah, that killed it, didn't it? But then the line was not great. So, 30 foot putt for an eagle. Sloping uphill, breaking to the right. Hard to read this pup, because it'll break and then it'll break oh, more at the end. Oh, we got it right. The difficulty there is the speed at which you're running over the break, because as you're going slower, the break has more impact. But we read it right. All part of the plan. Got ourselves an eagle. Got ourselves a three under. Hold four. It's a par four. So we're going into the wind here, so not a lot of use using a power. Well, I suppose we could use a power shot. And we'll hit it low as we can. Try and get the ultra top spin. Keep it out the wind. Oh, nice shot. And just see if we can get some distance on it. Yeah, it really kills your carry, doesn't it? So, 200 to go. 
bit of wind. Three iron in. Got a little bit of science spin oh, on it. Job. Just because I wrapped a pitch. Uh, I was going to pitch in the rough again. It's curled around. The wind really caught that. I was not expecting the wind to get older much, much of it. I'll get a drop though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just, yeah. Needed a little bit more power, didn't it? Just, just died relax. on the fringe. Just died on the fringe. Do your best. I need to sort of remember that a little bit. There we go. Nice Selves apart. That'll do. Missed the green, though. So, five's a par five. Oh, five. It's a par five. Again, you can cut the corner here. Now, have I got the length to cut the corner? No, you see, I'm going to run into those. You might just play it straight. See, it does change how you play the course, just depending on the, the clubs and the length you've got. There's normally I'd have to cut the corner out of that, but this is going to be a safer shot just because of where that ditch is on the left hand side. It's a 278 left. We might use another power shot here. And a bit of shape. Go, go, go. Masterful. Nice that should be okay. Oh, don't run out, don't run out. Oh, it's just going to end up on the semi rough. So that's a mistake. I'm going to make this chip a little bit trickier. I need a little bit more on it just because I'm going to lose some stuff from the impact. Champion! Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. So, six foot pop, bit of break. Looks like it's locked up. Pretty flat. In she goes. A birdie. Get the birdie. Nice and easy. Nice birdie. Look at you. So gets us to four. Got a par four coming up. Oh, six. It's a par four. Across the wind. We've got that ditch. Oh, we've got a really narrow bit of fairway to aim at here as well with the wind that's going to push us that way. We almost want to play this line. Oh, this is a really hard oh, place to hit shot. into. Hopefully the wind's just going to bail me out of it there. There we go. Ah, no, it didn't. So I took too much off that. Look at the gauge closely. So that's a mistake. So again, let's just try and get hold of it. Could try to intentionally hit the flyer oh, there as shot. well. Sometimes one of the one-shot missions is to hit a flyer. So you can actually get a bit more distance if you want it, but I'd rather be on the fairway with a decent chip in. Let's just have a quick look. It's going to go right to left a little bit with the wind and everything. So maybe about here. Oh, yeah. It was alright. It was alright. It wasn't great. So we got a par par. A decent part, but got to avoid that first mistake. Got to make sure we don't end up in that bunker. Although we got all out of it well. It's a par three. So seven's the par three. Right up at the back. Bit of wind. Three iron though. So holding this is going to be the hard part. Not the ultra backspin. It's going to pretty much depend where it bounces. Yeah, grip, grip, grip. You want to come back? You know you want to come. On. There we go. Oh, still on the fairway. So we've missed the green. I might move back to my nine iron for the chip. Just seems to get better results with the nine iron. Ball just seems to settle quicker. There's a slightly flatter line, isn't it? Oh, I just short. Focus. It's too bouncy when you use the approach wedge. So we get the pass. Well done. Okay. Coulda, shoulda made that chip. Oh, hey, it's a par four. Okay, it's a par four round the corner. Wind's gonna help me out a bit. Let's just um, give it the beans. Oh, 
Konnichiwa! Yeah, that's all right. Just under a hundred left. Bit of a tailwind. Ah, oh, missed the ultra back spin. Champion. Well, that's not bad. Oh, great play! Oh, that buddy. So we got an eight footer. A little bit of brain. You can do this. There we go. I've got your buddy. Nice and five under. Amazing. Par three to finish the first nine. Oh, nine is a par three. Pins tucked in the front a little bit. Three iron in. So we've got to make sure we, we want to land on the green if we can. I mean, I've overhit that. It's a speck, but at least it'll pitch on the green. <laughs> And then it might hold. If you go on that front, if you're in the front, it just dies. So pitching no, across is not so bad. So we've got a 15 footer. For the birdie. And it's as straight as you like. Swooping downhill. Tiny bit downhill. So worth it just to get on the better part of the green. That's not bad. It's a six under for the first nine. Missed some chances. I mean, oh, we're not going to talk about the first because that just should be an eagle. But um, it was all right. It was all right. And we'll see how we can do coming back in. Oh, ten. It's a par five. It's a ten. How many power shots we got? We've got seven power shots left. So we got one for each of the drivable holes. Oh. Off you go. Caught the tree, didn't get the impact. Might get away with it though. Just lost a bit of distance. So, about 250 left. Gonna have to be a one wood in or a three wood in. I'm not happy with either option. Advantage of being a bit short on the disadvantage, sorry, means you've got to play a wood in. We've got the shape on it though, it'll run a bit. Yeah, just can't control the line particularly well. So we'll get a putt, and it's 14 foot, which is not an ideal distance. Relax, give it a shot. Oh, get in. Nice eagle. There we go. Uh, it's, it's a great start to this nine. We've got ourselves an eagle. Oh, 11. It's a par four. And with the custom clubs, almost drivable, but clearly not under these circumstances. Got hold of it though. Oh, good shot. Get it up around 300, that's all right. 115 left, you've got to come over that little lump. Got to be a 9 iron in. Just a bit of shape, just to try and take the lump and the bunker out of play. Champion! Well, that's not bad. Oh, that's not bad at all. Amazing! So, um, pretty straightforward birdie pup. Nice birdie. Easy. So that's a good start to the um, the inward half. Oh, twelve is a par three. Twelve, I always struggle with. Let's see what we can do with it today. <laughs> Didn't get the ultra. Oh, need Yeah, line's not. Perfect, and we're just out the back, so just on the fringe. Let's go back to the nine and see if we can get a chip. Would you a chip? There you go. I can't That's how you do it. I can't believe it. I got yourself a birdie. Nice and easy. Nice birdie. Birdie. 
Okay, so it gets us to ten. It's a par four next. Thirteen. It's a par four. Okay. Um, it's gonna pitch right when it lands, isn't it? Assuming it gets up that far. Off you go. On the chop. Well, we've got hold of it. Might be. Yeah, go on. I might just get on the front. Literally oh, just oh. crawled onto the front of the green. Don't let the eagle slip. I'd actually prefer the chip here, if I'm honest. But there you go. Breaking to the right. So the brake's going to ease off. In the back. Yeah, it was just low. Oh, oh okay. but not by a lot. Just not by a lot. That wasn't a bad. That wasn't a bad stab at the eagle. <laughs> Shouldn't be too disappointed in that birdie. Oh, part of That's a 14. Oh, 14. It's a par four. So normally with the custom clubs, you just hit it and hope it sticks. But here, we'll just knock this up short. See if we can give ourselves a good second shot in with him. Yeah, good shot. Hopefully, I haven't gone too far left. Yeah, it's going to tuck us in a little bit. It's all right. We're on the fairway, so we'll get a good, clean contact. So 81 to go. A little bit of wind. How's that one looking? Champion. That's not bad. Inside three foot, flat as you like, straight as you like. That's, a, that's pretty much the way to play that hole, I think. It's a 15, par 3 to come. Again, not really a lot to play with. Just because if you go short, you're going to look at that bit of fairway. So we'll try a little bit of shape on it. Let's see if it landed on the green. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's alright, that's alright. Oh, it's just going to bound on, isn't it? Too much pace. But we found the green. Chance for a birdie. Oh, that's a long old putt. Sloping uphill, breaking to the left. See if we can get it close. Ah, uh, just didn't break, did it? Just didn't yes. want to break. If I under hit that, that's oh, okay. Yeah, we're done. Fair enough. It's a 12 under. Oh, 16. It's a par 4. Now, with the custom clubs, there's a water skip to be had here. Because you can play here and bounce it, but I haven't got the length to bounce it. Get it. Uh, I caught the tree, which is not ideal. So I lost some length there. We should be alright there. We should have a good shot in. 80 to go. What does that do? It doesn't really go anywhere, is the honest answer. Okay. Got the backspin. Good. How far is that going to come back? Yeah, probably a bit further than I'd liked. Nine foot today. Looks like it's quite straight, judging by the way it's spanned. Sloping uphill. Got it. It's a 13 under, two hours left, oh, four five finish. Oh, 17. It's a par four. 17. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right, yeah. Hopefully, don't get too much of that tree. Yeah, just clear it. It's all right. It'll come left a bit off the um, fairway. We should hold all, all right, though. Yeah, that's okay. So we've got 82 to go. It's going to kick right. Wind's going to bring it back. Okay. Oh. 
Ooh. Ooh, now how much is that going to come back? Oh, not bad. Had a go at it. Go for the birdie. Yeah, a bit of break just judging by the way that ran. Just relax. She does it. There we go. Nice birdie. 13. Nice and easy. 14 under, sorry. It's a par 5 to finish. This will be the last. This one dog's oh, legs left, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a par 5. So, no, can I cut the corner? Ah, uh, you see, the corner cut's not really on here because it's not a narrow bit. I'd rather play it up here, I think. And we've got two power shots left, so we may as well use them. It means we can play a power shot on the second oh, shot as well. We got 2.30 left. We're all about getting ourselves a good position here. So we're not going to need the power shot, I don't think. Ah, oh, missed the ultra spin. Great shot! I'm going to land on. Yeah, I'm going to roll up. Yeah, that one uh, might go a bit far. That's alright, we're going to chip at it. Chip for an eagle. Ah, just died on the fringe again. He's just trying to read how much the fringe is going to take off. It's really difficult. But nice straight putt for the birdie. So we're going to finish on 15 under. I mean, there's more there. You know, I'm still worried about the eagle on the first, if I'm honest. But I could, yeah. You know, the clubs didn't make that much difference, did it? 15 is a good score. 15 is a good score. So let's see how our stats compared. Obviously, we were much shorter. Yeah. Our longest drive wasn't as good. We didn't really need the chip-ins. We hit a decent putt, though. Look at that. Missed all but one fair... Missed, sorry, hit all but one fairway. Missed a few greens, though. It's a bit disappointing me to work on. And our impacts were good. So that's my practice there for the um, for the qualifier. I'll probably live stream it Saturday evening UK time. Uh, if you've got any comments, please leave them. I always like to read your comments. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for a bit more of Billy's Golf. Okay.